Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Asen Creek Valhalla video. So in this episode we are gonna go through very thoroughly how you are gonna start your Dawn of Ragnarok journey. Without any more talking of that, let's go! So options, you have two options. Option number one, it is for the Valhalla veterans who have left no stone unturned and reached power level 340 or more they can dive right into Dawn of Ragnarok by speaking with Valka in Ravenstorp. And the option number two is for the new players. So if you haven't reached the power level of 340 but still want to unreveal the story of Odin and his desperate quest for Baldur in Dawn of Ragnarok, when entering Svaroheim, they can accept a boost that will give them a temporary increase of their power and temporarily upgrade some of their gear. Those are usable in this expansion only, so when you are getting back to England, back to real world, your power will drop, but everything you have gained in Dawn of Ragnarok, you are able to keep XP, silver, trinkets, stuff like that. So no matter if you are old or new player, you can dive right into it. Straight from the get go, we are getting quest, Restless Dreams. For this one, we need to go near Hildurans and the Frankish area of our settlement. Here, what you need to do, you need to go under the willow tree and interact. That is the first part and I will guide you through pretty much until you are free to roam on your own. So hopefully you will have fun. When you are entering the dream state, you will get two times in this tutorial this kind of thing. There is no more, just one sheet of text, story, however you want to call it. After you have read it or not, your choice, skip it and then we are ready to go again. And the first location, it is the Asgardian gate. Here we are gonna meet Frigg. Frigg is queen of Asgard, the wife of Odin, mother for Baldur, Hodor and Hermod. After the cutscenes, the actual quest into the fire starts and you need to follow the queen, follow the Frigg, don't free roam, don't go so much ahead. If you do, she will stop, so just try to go on her pace, also that tip is gonna be really helpful in this tutorial phase of the expansion. From this cliff we can see the huge building right over there and that is our final destination. If you did lose Frigg somehow, this is place to be. Here you need to go upstairs, also don't forget investigate the pole, the blood on the stairs. He was here. The smell of his skin, his hair. It's as if he left but a moment ago. There may be other signs. Keep watch. I will look upstairs. What is this place? What happened here? Dried blood. Could it be his? They know. Who wrote this? Was it you, dear brother? Now the things are getting interesting. This area becomes hostile and there is a battle and a boss fight. After doing so, and highly recommend of using default settings, if you are going straight into this one, if you are a new player and you are trying your luck with the hardest difficulties, that might be a little bit too hard. But after this one, you are gonna wake up and let's see what happens.
This will be the end of part 1 of the guided tutorial and we are getting back into the Ravenstorp. Next destination it is gonna be Valka. The smell of death lingers in my nostrils. That was no mere dream. I must seek Valka's wisdom. Drink this, if you would know more. Then go to the sacred circle behind my hut. There is more mistletoe there. Lay the mistletoe around the circle. Light it, and stand within. We shall see what your dream has to teach you. What Walka is asking is that we are performing a ritual. This place might seem familiar to you. Here you can release the fireflies. We need to interact with that mistletoe. Light it up in four corners of this quote unquote circle. Doing so, you can interact with the center of the circle. And that is how you are getting into the Swartoholm for the first time. So let's see, let's go. And can we get a like if this video has been helpful, entertaining so far. Also, let me know in the comments down below what are your feelings, your thoughts of Dawn of Ragnarok? Valka! What is the meaning of this? Is this some part of your ritual? The flames grow ever closer! Ah! Valka! Would you burn me alive? If you would reach your dreams, Eivor, you must not run from the fire. You must become it. <laughs> like I told you before, here we are getting another screen with some text. This one you can skip, this is short. And I'm glad for that one. The fast part is over now. And now it is for the good stuff. Yes, this is kind of slow. You are meeting new friends. The dwarves, Halstein and Sigrun. They will be your guides for this tutorial. Please go with them. Don't try to rush through. That is only gonna slow you down. Trust me. I personally tried that because I was getting irritated how slow dwarves are in this part. In my opinion, the tutorial is taking way, way too long, just because the dwarves are walking and just wandering around. But after that, I promise you, everything will get much faster. And my first opinion about this new expansion, I think this is actually pretty great compared to Wrath of the Druids and Seeds of the Paris. So much new stuff, new weapon type. That is huge and yeah, we are gonna get that one in this tutorial phase along with something else that you are gonna see in a few moments. A moose bell! Oh, hammer and tongs, they're here! They're looking for the gift! This dolt dares to steal a gift intended for me? Javi, you have to stop them! With pleasure. Keep back. I will deal with this. Well done, Javi. We should search around here. Hopefully with better luck than that moose bell.
must be around here somewhere. What are we looking for? I see nothing but stone. There should be a hidden catch. After killing your first Muspel, you are getting the Hooker Grip, the Hooker Pacer. That is gonna come handy and it is one of the best things in this whole expansion in my opinion. And you are getting guided how to use that. Also, you are gaining Hooger by killing animals, killing enemies, collecting plants and not just any plants, the Hooger plants. Also, you can sacrifice your health on altars. Many way, so basically you are never gonna run out of Hooger for a long time. Told you they'd like it. With this bracer you can draw out the essence of fallen foes, steal their powers and make them your own. Try it now on that moose spell you killed. I feel it. Fire charges my blood. But you'll need more of it before you can take on their powers. Let's keep moving. Protect us, Using the power of Muspel, it can come handy when you need to stay on the lava a little bit longer than just running through, rolling through. You will get no damage, like at all, when you are using the Hooger of Muspel, as you can see, no damage. But here, we need to open the door for the dwarves. Along the way, there are plants, there are altar, where you can sacrifice your health for some Hooger. Just go around, smash the door from the other side and let the dwarves in. Again, go with them, don't hurry, because if you do, they are gonna stop and your progress is delayed. Harvey, are you there? Open the door! They're taking too long? Oh, what if the most spells got them? We're doomed! Stop your fretting! They'll be here! I knew you could do it! Didn't I tell you, see? When getting end of the cave, you are coming outside into the Svarlheim and now we are having another boss battle with the wife of Surtur and reward of that battle, it is gonna be the Adgeir, the new weapon type, heavy blade, it is kinda awesome, it is fast, it is good looking, but the finishers, they were a little bit sad in my opinion, they are nothing like the NPC finishers or the finishers with the NPC weapons, that thing is really, really beautiful. After all of this, just follow the dwarves, they will guide how to find the Dwarven Shelters in Svartalheim. And the last step of this part is speaking with the Brood once again in the shelter and after that, yes, follow him in his pace. Hopefully everybody will enjoy the new expansion and let me know in the comments down below what you think before rolling the outro. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Svartalfheim, Javi. From here, you're on your own. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, 
have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.